Hey guys, welcome back to the channel that teaches you how to make Procreate brushes that saves you the hassle of downloading and importing. You can just make them yourself. This time around, we are creating a classic, old school calligraphy favorite, the fountain pen. It's got a dynamic shift in stroke size from super thin to thick. It's pressure sensitive, so it'll be great to practice your upstrokes and downstrokes. It has that parchment paper effect in the strokes that give it a bit more of a realistic inky effect, which makes this brush perfect for formal invites or classic quote art. So let's get started and make this brush. Open up a new canvas or an existing one. Tap brush icon to open brush library. Create a new brush folder or just use the one that you've already made. I'll be using my existing make this brush folder. Tap the plus sign here to make a new brush. In Stroke Path, under Stroke Properties, set spacing to 5. As per usual, we don't want that opacity difference at the ends, so let's go to the Apple Pencil sidebar to fix that. Under Pressure, set opacity to 0. We want the smallest stroke with your lightest pressure, so let's set pressure size all the way to max. Use light pressure for your upstrokes and heavier pressure with your downstrokes to achieve the effect. Now, let's give this that inky fountain pen look by tapping on the shape sidebar. Beside shape source, tap on edit. In shape editor, tap import here to change the shape. Choose source library from the options. Scroll down if needed and choose Oval. Tap Done twice to save selection. Under Shape Behavior, set Scatter to 10%. If you want less or more inkiness, just adjust the setting accordingly. Time to smooth these lines and curves out by going into the stabilization options. Under streamline and pressure, set them according to your preference. I like to put mine at 70%. To get even more smooth lines, under stabilization, set that to the same amount as your streamline settings. Because I want to be more freehand with this brush, I'll only set motion filtering to 10%. And there it is, an inky classic fountain pen calligraphy brush. How easy was that? Now you can go ahead and create formal lettering, or depending on your settings, spooky Tim Burton-esque calligraphy. You can even use this for line art, inking, or anything your artistic fancy allows you. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. And if you so fancy, give this a like so more people can discover this tutorial. And if you want to be notified of future tutorials as soon as they are uploaded, the notification bell is pretty nifty at that. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, keep safe, and I'll see you then. Bye!